What's up, y'all? If you're new to the channel, my name is Avian Azurin, and I produce lots of personal watercraft content. I'm always looking for products that I feel you guys in the PwC world could benefit from. And if you've owned a jet ski, you know it's not easy finding products that fit our lifestyle. You guys know I'm always out and about on the water and bringing camera equipment, drone equipment, a lot of different things that I don't want to get wet. My backpack from last season was seeing its end of days and I didn't want to risk it, especially with this Puerto Rico and this Bahamas trip coming up. So I got to searching on the internet and I believe I found the perfect backpack. And you're probably wondering, why don't I just get your typical roll up bag like I had last season, where you just roll it up and everything to keep it waterproof. Well, I wanted to try something different because I'm always going in and out of my bag to get camera equipment or just anything I need. I wanted to try a completely waterproof zipper backpack, just easy for me to get in and out of. Okay, so let's talk about the specs. Now on the website, it said that these are advanced hydro wall material to make it waterproof. It is a 29 liter storage capacity and it can hold a 16 inch laptop. It only weighs about 1.9 pounds. They're very lightweight. These are not sewed. It makes it 100% waterproof with the seams and super versatile for those adventurous people that live a lifestyle on the water. Now let's take a closer look on the Explorer waterproof backpack. So it has these zippers. So this pocket is waterproof. It has the straps with the buckle right here in case you need to attach more items and the handle. I love being able to have different things like basically utility um, is a very important thing for me, especially with the lifestyle I live. I'm always on the water or I'm on the go or I'm on the slope snowboarding, just a lot of different things. So when I saw this backpack, I found it may be my all in one backpack that I need. It has a clear window right here where you can put your phone and um, on the inside and you can see it from here so you don't have to keep on opening and closing it. And here you go. See my hand? That's where you would slide your phone in, right in that little slot. That's a good feature to have. You have this side pocket right here. You can put a water bottle or anything that you need that you're gonna constantly be getting um, and then clip it on right here. It has padding in the back and the padding makes a big difference because when you carry heavy items, you don't want those items poking you in the back. It has little ridges right here so it can form to your back. Also, I find it useful for when I'm sweating. And it has D-rings right here on the straps and you could hook more things with carabiners on. And also, this is important, especially if you're riding with a backpack. I know some people are like, why are you riding with a backpack? But sometimes, you know, I ride with a backpack or just do crazy things. I'm always doing active things and having the strap in front is very important. It helps relieve the weight on your shoulders and keeps it secure to your body. Okay, it's a heavy duty handle. Let's look at this zipper right here. Here's another zipper. These look like those Yeti zippers, which I really like. These are all welded seams. <laughs> And I don't know if you can see inside. Let's see. Inside, you can even have a place where you put your laptop if you need to. I'm always on the go, so I gotta edit videos for you guys. So this is a great feature to have, especially with the strap right there. And it has some little areas where you can organize your stuff, like put camera equipment or cords or anything. And like I said, pockets and little spots for organizing is such a plus for me. Oh, there's a zipper inside. Let's see. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Right there. Okay, okay. You've got another compartment right here to put your stuff in, like your money, your wallet, or something or for you girls, your makeup. 
let's see in here. I already have some stuff in here. I was testing it out this weekend and it fit perfectly in front of the RXP with no issues. It doesn't matter what you're using, a cooler or a backpack or any type of brand, I always recommend give it a good rinse after being exposed to salt water because salt water can really eat up something. And these bags are made to go in salt water, but why pre-wear your items? Just go ahead and take care of them by rinsing them off, especially after every salt water contact. Let's take a quick look inside this one right here. So I don't wanna break this all apart, but it gives you a whole list of everything that's in the bag, alcohol swabs, scissors, some tongue depressors, a tourniquet, some um, wipes, some gauze, just a bunch of things that you would need on the go, on the fly. And then this one even has a little carabiner. I like that with a lock. So you can just hook it up, especially if you don't want to put it inside the compartment, you can hook it on somewhere outside the storage compartment. Ooh. Oh, snug in there. Okay. And it has a big old list in here too. I don't want to remove everything, but these are everything that's on it. And then also I will include it on the screen right here for you guys to check out. But yeah, this is perfect for you kayakers, boaters, PWC riders, anything. A first aid kit is a must, especially if you live the adventurous life. So now that we've taken an up close and personal look at the waterproof backpacks. Let's go test it on the water. So if you need to keep your items dry and your items are very valuable to you, you may want to look into Breakwater Supply. So more information with pricing and everything will be found on their website and the link will be down below. But again guys, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, see you guys on the water.